Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. We're continuing to walk through the book of Proverbs, and we're in Proverbs chapter 2. And I want to talk today about the best security system. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to be selling you Simply Safe or Ring or some kind of thing. That's not what's going on here. Although we've got a, we've got a package, a security package in our home, and when we leave, we can push a button for away, and it, it says armed. And, but, but the truth of the matter is, in this world, uh, if people want to get into your house, they're going to probably find some way to get in your house, not to, not to make you anxious or worried, but hey, th- that's the world we live in. But, but there's a security system that God offers us that's better than anything else this world offers. Listen to this passage from Proverbs chapter 2, <clears throat> looking at verses 10 through 15, and listen for the idea of God's protection, God's security system for our lives. Proverbs 2.10 says this, For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you, and understanding will guard you. Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked people, from those whose words are perverse, who have left the straight paths to walk in dark ways, who delight in doing wrong, who rejoice in the perverseness of evil, whose paths are crooked and whose ways are devious. Well, that, that's a lot of dangerous stuff out there. So how do you stay protected? How do you guard yourself? Well, this passage addresses this. And the reality is growing in wisdom and that's what, what this saying is that your best security system for your heart, for your mind, for your life is wisdom. Because there's pitfalls, there's challenges, there's hucksters out there trying to rip you off. There, there's people out there trying to pull you into things you shouldn't be involved in. What sets off the alarm? What, what gets, the, gets that eh, 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 beware for you? It should be the wisdom of God. So first listen to verse 10 and notice this, that wisdom gets into your heart and your soul. Verse 10 says this, for wisdom will Enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. When you begin reading God's wisdom, listening to God's wisdom, growing God's wisdom, your heart and your soul are protected because God's wisdom is there, and it becomes this alarm that starts to go off when somebody comes along and is trying to rip you off. And I know people that that have gotten scammed on things. I know people in our world right now, there's all kinds of people out there fishing, trying to get a hold of your information, trying to rip you off. And how do you you have wisdom to know when that's coming? How do you know you're dealing with a person who's not a safe person, but a dangerous person? God's wisdom in your heart and your mind make a difference. And then in verse 11, we find out that God's wisdom will protect and guide you. God's wisdom will actually become like sort of this buzzer or this, this th- thing that says, hey, be careful, you're heading towards a dangerous situation. Listen again to verse 11. Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. And these words discretion and understanding, they're sort of synonymous with wisdom. Here, it, it, this is called synonymous parallelism and each verse is talking about wisdom, but instead of saying wisdom, 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 it'll say wisdom, discre- discretion, and use different words, but it's talking about biblical godly wisdom. So God's wisdom is designed to protect and to guide us. And then it'll save you from wicked people. Verses 12 through 15 basically say there's a lot of mixed up people out there. There's people that are devious, looking to trick you. And in our modern world, they're finding lots of ways to do it. I've gotten three things in the last three or four days that I had it pop up and it says, you know, Wells Fargo wants to let you know that your account is no longer going to be active if you don't respond immediately. And I stop and think, I don't have an account with Wells Fargo. (laughs) And I go, wait a minute. Ding, 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 ding. This is somebody who wants me to click on the link. And then I I know I should just trash it, but like there's this little curiosity. Should I click it and see what this really is? But I I know that that's a dangerous thing to do. And wisdom says, don't do it. As you interact with people who are deceptive or people who are broken and hurting, but they actually want to pull you into things you shouldn't be pulled in. As you walk alongside people who who are very worldly, and I want you to do the same thing as they're doing or talk the way they're talking or think the way they're thinking because then they'll feel good about having you in, in their company and they won't feel so bad about doing those things they shouldn't be doing. They invite you in. What is it that tells us, stop, wait, I can see where that's going to go? It's God's wisdom. From the book of Proverbs, absolutely, but also all through the scriptures. So here's my encouragement to you. Let God's wisdom set off that little red light, that little alarm in your mind. And when it happens, Pay attention. Don't fall into the scams of this world. Don't fall into the enticements of people who are not following Jesus. And when wisdom says, this is wrong, this looks dangerous, or even slow down, listen to wisdom, 
pray about it, and then go to wise people, get their counsel, and they'll straighten you out and get you on the right track as well because they, they have wisdom from God. So let's pray that, that God's wisdom will become that alarm system that protects us as we walk through this dangerous world. God, thank you that your wisdom brings life and truth, but it also protects and guides us. There's a lot of pitfalls in this world. There's, there's a lot of landmines out there. God, when we hear that warning of wisdom saying, don't get involved in that, don't jump into that, don't invest in that, don't get too close with that person. God, may your wisdom be something that protects, guards, and saves us. May we walk and know your wisdom and walk in it each day, we pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.